Hi everyone, it's Peter Apt here from Teaching with the iPad. And today we're going to have a look at the augmented reality app AR Maker. So we're going to select AR Maker, then select Start, push the cross, and then start again. Now when the app first starts, you just need to scan the app around. You'll see a little area there where the, uh, the dots are. I normally get students just to select that uh, with their thumb. So once you've got an, an active area ready to go, we're gonna, today we're going to create some content for um, Year 3 Maths. So we're going to start with odd and even. And the number we're going to look at is 23. So I'm going to select the new tab on the left-hand side, select the paintbrush, choose a colour on the right. Um, just You can move that little slider up on the bottom right as well. That's, that's the um, size of the brush. And I'm just going to make sure I do, use the undo button, make that a bit smaller. Make the colour a bit brighter. And I'm going to make the number 23. Now I push the tick on the left-hand side. Go OK and it comes into our augmented reality area. So now I can select it on the left-hand side. And at this point I can make it bigger. I can also lay it flat or put it vertical. I'm actually going to put this bit vertical there. So I'm going to sort of make it so I can kind of see what it looks like. Now once, once I've gotten a spot I want to uh, position in, I can push place on the right-hand side with my thumb. Now I'm going to go back to new again because I want the students to decide whether 23 is odd or even. So I'm going to now just make a little dot. Now you can use this dot a lot in these activities. Choose the tick on the left hand side, push OK. And now I can bring that dot in. In this case I'm going to lay it flat, make it a bit um, smaller. Now I'm going to decide that uh, 23 is odd, so I place it there. Now I want to um, take a photo of that to record my learning, so I'm going to push the arrow above the new tab, and now I get a camera there and I can take a photo, which I can then go and place in my template. So I've got a template already that I've prepared in pages, and here's odd and even. There's the, the number 23, I can drag that over there. I can put that, for example, into, into this one if I want to. So now I want to get the photo in there, so I'm going to push the plus in the bottom right, and there is my uh, the photo in recent, and I can select that, and there I can see that um, number 23 is odd or even. And I can also go and record some audio down the bottom where that little placeholder audio tab is. So to do that, I'll push the plus at the top, then I choose um, record audio, select the microphone at the bottom, the number 23 is odd, and push it again to stop it. From here, I can either re uh, preview it, or I can um, cancel it, or insert in the top right-hand corner. And there is my little sound bite. The number 23 is odd, and push it. So there we see, that's activity one for the year three content for AR Maker Maths. This is activity two in AR Maker Maths, and I'm going to select the three bars on the top left, which is the menu, and now push reset and confirm, because as the students move from activity to activity, they're going to need to rescan or reset each time. So I'm now going to select my thumb, the area I'm ready to go. In this case, I'm going to just make three o'clock as, as an example. So I select new and the paintbrush, choose a color. This is going to be for the minute hand. Push the tick, OK, select it and bring it in and I can just make it a little bit smaller and I can place that for my minute hand and go to the 12. Now I'll select new again, paintbrush, different colour and I can select the uh, hour hand, push OK, bring it in, there we go, there's number three there place and now I've got number three made on my AR clock so I'm going to push the arrow above the new tab on the left and now I can take my photo and now I'm ready to go to the next activity this is activity number three which is money notes so here I'm going to create uh, in, in the template the students have a, a number amount they have to create with uh, with dollar bills or, or notes um, so in this case, I'm going, to I'm going to select, say, $30. And I can make that by making a $20 bill and a $10 bill. So I'm going to select New, Paintbrush. In this case, I know the $20 bill is red. 
So I'm going to just make a basic rectangle there. I can actually um, adjust the brush size to, to fill that area in just a bit quicker. And it, it just has to be rough. It's all about the, the number and, and also the color of the note. Um, choose a brighter color, bring the, the uh, brush size down. I'm just going to about 20, push the tick, okay. Select it, and there's my 20 place. Now go back to new, paintbrush. In this case, our, our $10 bill is blue. So I'm going to make a blue color, bring that up a little bit, make it a bit, a bit easier, a bit quicker. Again, it's just about getting the students to uh, recognize the, the, uh, the color of the, of the dollar bill and also recognize the uh, number amount as well. This one is 10, tick, okay. Select it and there is $30. Now I could also go and just write $30 in the background if I wanted to do that. Select, take a photo and there's my photo.